Hello students, in this short tutorial I will introduce the auto titrator machine and explain its basic mechanism, after which a sample titration will be shown to ensure that you understand how to use the machine correctly and effectively. This is an experiment set for our titration lab, which consists of an auto titrator located on the left and the pH meter on the right. This type of set is ideal for titration experiments that require high accuracy and involves many samples. So let's start with the auto titrator itself. Generally, all auto titrator machines contain the bottle in which the titrant solution is stored. The water is pumped from the bottle to a little tube by the piston, from which it is then delivered to the sample solution. Now let's turn on the auto titrator. It takes some time to fully load the program, so be patient. The machine will beep shortly when it's ready, after which you can press the ESC key or wait again for the machine to go to titration mode. The one of the main accessories of this instrument is a mini keyboard, which we will be using to operate this machine. As you can see, the function keys above correspond to the various commands of titration, so you can simply click on appropriate key to perform the desired function. To start the titration, press the F1 button and then press Enter twice to agree on the settings of titration. Now titration is running, so you can start the titration process. For controlling the titration, a special mouse is used which consists of two buttons. The right dimpled black button delivers the specific amount of titrant solution to the sample solution, while the left round grey button ends the titration process. So now when I lightly press the right button once, the machine always delivers 0.01 milliliters of titrant solution. If I click firmly, delivering process becomes continuous. The button has two resistance points at which the speed of delivery increases. We can change the speed of continuous delivery using arrow keys. The screen shows the rate of solution delivery on each speed profile. So now I change the speed and you can see that rate of delivery has decreased. To stop the titration process, press the left button for 2 seconds and machine will beep shortly, meaning that titration is finished. At the beep, the screen will display the total volume of titrant solution used. The actual titration occurs on the magnetic steel plate, which is a part of an auto titration machine. It has its own support mechanism with a holder which allows the auto titration, dispenser and pH meter probe to stay fixed in the solution. You can adjust the height of the holder by pushing the black brake pad and moving the holder on desired level. Ideally, the both dispenser tip and pH meter probe should be kept somewhere in the middle, but not too deep since it will touch the magnetic steer bar. Now we can turn on the magnetic steerer by swiping the controller up. As we swipe it up, the speed increases dramatically, so be careful not to spill or ruin any solution sample. The average speed is the best. Ok, let's demonstrate the titration process. The magnetic steerer is turned on and the titration is running. In this case, the titrant solution is acid, so when it dissolves in water, the pH should decrease. In the real titration, you should write down the volume of titrant solution added along with corresponding pH meter reading to create a valid titration plot. As you can see, the pH of solution is decreasing. When there is no more significant change in pH of solution, we can stop the titration. When finished, turn off the magnetic steerer and pull the holder out of solution. Always wash the tips of both dispenser and probe with DI water before and after titration. To take out the steer bar out of beaker, use the special magnetic rod. The steer bar should be also washed with DI water and dried with paper towel. These are all the basic steps you need to successfully perform a titration with an old titrator. If you have any questions or concerns, please write in the comments. Thanks for watching.